What's up guys, iDevice Help here. Today in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorite tips to save battery on your iOS device in iOS 8. I'm going to show you a couple of tips that I use to improve the battery life on my iOS device. Let's go ahead and begin. All right, so the first thing I usually like to disable is Spotlight Search because Spotlight, I only use it to track or search applications. You can search all types of information through Spotlight, even search Safari web results. But if you disabled Spotlight by going into Settings, General, and Spotlight Search, here is my option. The only option that I have selected is Applications. All these other options I have unchecked. That means the phone will not constantly be tracking information on my device, improving the battery life because if you leave all these checked, the phone constantly tracks all the information on your phone to give you the best results when you search through spotlight now you want to enable the ones that you do use but the ones that you don't use make sure you uncheck them that way when you go through spotlight it won't be constantly tracking and you can save battery by only having the phone search for information that you actually search through spotlight now another one of the things I like to do is go into the settings general and go here to the uses section this section here will allow me to track all applications and things that are draining the battery on my device in a 24 hour basis or four day basis. Now if you go back from there, once you track which applications are causing the most battery drain, you can go here into background app refresh. This section here allows you to track applications that are running in the background constantly. Now this normally is on, I always like to keep it at off because I normally don't want my applications to be running in the background unless I'm using them. That's unnecessary battery usage. Some people may like it, but I usually switch them all off. You can switch them off individually. If you go back on the usage information and track down which apps were consuming the most battery, you can just switch those off individually or you can just switch them all off. I like to switch them all off because I only like my applications to run when I'm using them, not when I'm not. Now another option you might want to consider switching off is here in the privacy sections where the location services is located. Right here all the applications that are constantly tracking your location to provide services, rather it is the app store or the weather channel application or whatever it may be. Right here you can track and go ahead and disable all services that are tracking your location at once or individual apps. Also Apple added the new option where you can say always or never or while in use only. So you can also add the while in use only option. So the location tracking system on the application will only work when you're using the application, not at all times. So you might wanna check all these here and make sure you only have switched on the ones that you necessarily need or only the ones that you want to track your location only while you're using them. This is a very important section here as well. Now while we're on location services, you always want to scroll down also here where it says system services. Right here you'll find a list of options that are also tracking locations in the operating system itself. If you go here to location based ads, you can go ahead and disable that. That's normally used for when applications track your location. They give you ads based on that location and things like that and offers around you. But if you don't want to use those ads and things like that to drain your battery, you can go ahead and browse through some of these options and go ahead and disable and enable the ones that you use the most and the ones that you think you won't need you can go ahead and disable those as well also in the settings application if you scroll down here to the itunes app store right here where it says automatically download this will constantly download any books app updates or apps and music in the background as they're available now if you don't want that to happen you can go ahead and disable these options i have them all off because i only want to update my apps when i go in the app store to check if there's any updates available and my music i only update if I wish to do so, so I don't want those on running at all times. That drains my battery. You can go ahead and switch those off depending on the ones you wish to use or not. Also in the notification center, you have all these widgets running here. And the more widgets you have, the more battery they're going to be using from your iOS device. So you want to go here into your widgets edit section here. And you want to go ahead and remove things like traffic location. If you don't wish to do that, that, that drains your battery. So if you remove that, it won't be active and it won't be tracking your location for traffic information. Go ahead and disable that. Also, stock comes pre-installed on the iOS devices. So you might want to disable that one as well. And all the ones that you don't use, improving your battery life. Now, I do like to have the weather they're running. But you can go ahead and select the ones you use the most. Now, other simple tips here in control. Control Center, you can disable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and things like that if you're not using them at the time because these do drain battery if you have them on at all times. Bluetooth will constantly try to be pairing and Wi-Fi will be constantly trying to track Wi-Fi hotspots to try to connect to Wi-Fi. Now, if you don't want to use those, if you're driving or things like that, you might want to disable that. It will help improve your battery by a lot, actually. And now, last but not least, here in the settings options, if I go to general and then accessibilities, I have the new grayscale option. Now, I'll only use this option if I'm down to like 20%. This really helps improve my battery performance because it turns everything black and white. That way, the LCD on the iOS device is not consuming as much battery, improving the battery 
better performance by a lot. Now if you use a lot of these tips or most of these tips, I guarantee that you're going to see an improvement on your battery life. These are some of the options that I always try to stay on top of. So if you guys found this video helpful, don't forget the thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. All the links will be in the video description down below. More videos coming your way. Make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.